Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got a fun alternative card for you using lots of parts from the April 2017 Stampin' Up! Paper Pumpkin. The April 2017 Paper Pumpkin was the, um, it's a Sarah thing, and these are the stamps that came in that Paper Pumpkin. It's kind of a mix and match sentiment set, and we're going to use those along with the black card bases and the watercolor paper. We're also going to um, use the uh, Pacific Point watercolor pencil and you can use the paintbrush or an aqua painter. So it uses a lot of the materials, and es but especially the stamp set from that uh, paper pumpkin. And um, then adds in some fun retiring stuff so that I could use some of my favorite things from the Stampin' Up! retirement list before they're gone completely. Did a little decorating inside the card, and there it is. Okay, let's talk about the other materials you'll need besides the Paper Pumpkin, April 2017. You'll also need, let's see here, I added some designer series paper from the Playful Palette. And the Playful Palette is, as of the recording of this video, it's still available from Stampin' Up! on the retirement list. It is on sale from $10 down to $6. And it's got some great um, kind of artistic pattern papers there. You get lots of paper for $6. I'm also using the Cucumber Crush Thick Baker's Twine. The Thick Baker's Twine is all going away. I'm going to really miss this product but I'm really gonna miss this Cucumber Crush color. It's um, just been one of my favorites of the in colors that are retiring. As of right now, that's still available. I'm using the Petite Petals stamp set and the Petite Petals punch. The Petite Petals punch is on sale right now for $9, and I just will miss this set dearly. Anytime a card needs a little something, these Petite Petals are the perfect embellishment, or in this case, even a centerpiece. I'm going to be using the um, B die from the Detailed Dragonfly Thinlets and my stampin' pads for this project. You're gonna see some fun new ones here. All right, basic black, cucumber crush, lemon lime twist, berry burst, and melon mambo. The paper and supplies that you'll need for this project, and you can get a printable project sheet at kitchentablestamper.com. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be linked directly below the video in the description. But we have here um, the sequin trim, and this is retiring. It's currently available, but only while supplies last. And I've got mm, about five, five and a half inches there. We won't use all of it. I have the basic black card base from the Paper Pumpkin. I cut a piece of very vanilla for my liner. You could absolutely use the liner from the Paper Pumpkin, but they were Whisper White, and the Playful Palette is on a very vanilla base, so I cut a new one, four by five and a quarter. Two pieces of the Playful Palette Designer Series paper. The hash, um, the cross hash patch pattern is two inches by five and a half. And this polka dot pattern is one and a quarter by four and a quarter. I have a piece of um, watercolor paper here, and this is about a three inch stitched circle. I didn't get those dies. I used the stitched shapes dies on this project and my layering circles. This is the largest scalloped layering circle. You'll need scraps. I've got about one and a quarter by three of Lemon Lime Twist, Melon Mambo, and then I've got about one and a half, one and a quarter by two of the Berry Burst. That's brand new. And then I have a scrap of Very Vanilla. This one is two and a quarter by four and a quarter, and that's for your leaves. I'm gonna stamp those with the leaves from Jar of Love, and we're going to die cut that with Everyday Jars Framelits. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is our water coloring. And I've got that Pacific Point um, pencil from the uh, 
from the kit, from the April Paper Pumpkin. And what I'm gonna do is just very lightly, I'm going to scribble back and forth. And you'll notice that I'm only putting it to the right side of the circle. I've gone very lightly and I've left this area blank. Now I've got my water brush here, my aqua painter, and I'm going to work those lines into kind of a flowy pattern by using circular motion. Okay, I like the look of that. It's gonna dry a little bit lighter and that's okay by me. I'm going to leave it alone. I tend to overwork it. So learn from my mistakes and don't overwork your watercolor. Let's set that aside and do some stamping. I've got my Stampin' Pierce mat here. Let me get some ink pads. Okay, I'm going to start with my leaves and this very vanilla piece that we have here. And we're going to ink up two sprigs and stamp them. Set them aside then for die cutting. Now I've got my Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and Melon Mumbo. And I've got a flower from that Petite Petals. We're gonna stamp two of the Lemon Lime Twist on Lemon Lime Twist and clean. Then we'll do the lighter one with the Melon Mumbo. And we'll stamp two of those on Melon Mumbo cardstock. And then lastly, we're gonna stamp Berry Burst, just one on the Berry Burst cardstock. Now let's punch these little guys out. All right, so we're on our last one. Let's punch it out. And I think we could probably arrange our sentiment now. Yeah, it's still a little damp. I'm gonna grab the heat tool and dry it a little bit and grab the big shot and I'll be right back. Okay, I gave this little guy a little help drying. We're gonna set it aside and do our die cutting. I've got the little bumblebee die here from the Dragonfly, Detail Dragonfly Finlets. We're gonna cut that on a tiny little scrap of basic black. It's about uh, one inch by two inches. And I'm gonna have to run this sprig through the die cut machine twice. So I'll be right back when my die cutting is done. Okay guys, I'm back and I've got my little dye brush um, and the foam pad here. I'm gonna just use this foam pad and I've got the end of my uh, paper piercer this time. You usually see me use a stylus from the Stampin' um, from the Simply Score tool, but I wanted to show you that the piercer, the rounded end of the Stampin' Up piercer works great for this too. You can just Put those little flowers on the dye brush foam mat, and this is different from our Stamp and Pierce mat. This is much softer. And just using the end of your um, paper piercer, and just roll in little circles, or big circles actually, in the center of the flower, and it makes a little cup, which gives your flowers a lot of dimension on the card. Okay, so we've done that. Let's do our stamping. We're going to bring our Stampin' Pierce mat in, our watercolor piece, some basic black ink. There's a basic black spot that came in your paper pumpkin. Of course, you can use that. And our sentiment is happy birthday to you. So the stamp set came with happy birthday to you and you in a big script. We're going to ink up you first. 
and we want that at the bottom of our watercolor. And then happy birthday to, I want the two right above the U, or the O in U. Stamp. And then lastly, I love this little spatter. It's a perfect image to complement with the watercolor wash you've got going on. So we're gonna have it go trail from one side, upper left corner, off the bottom right corner. And there's our sentiment. Let's move the mat out and we'll assemble our card. You know what? I want to give the inside of this card something a little special. So I'm gonna bring back my Berry Burst ink pad and my flower. I'm gonna stamp in the bottom right hand corner of the very vanilla that is the, to line the inside of the card. And then back to the basic black and that spatter image. And what we're gonna do is just use this largest spatter spot right here and put it in the center of the flower. Stamp off. And then rotate it a little bit and we're gonna stamp the spatters right off. So just a little something for the inside of the card, leaving most of the vanilla area there for writing our message. Now for the watercolor panel that we stamped with our sentiment, I'm gonna adhere that to the Cucumber Crush scallop circle with Fast Fuse. The water can make the paper warp a little bit and so it's nice to kind of have some uh, strong adhesive there. And for the inside of the card, we'll use a little snail. We'll just center that. Okay, back to the front of the card. You can get your banner triple punch here and dovetail the bottom of these pieces, if you like. I love that punch, but I don't have it handy, so I'm just going to cut a little dovetail with my scissors. Sometimes they're even, sometimes they're not. We need some more snail adhesive. Now, if you look at my placement here, I've got my crosshatch banner, and it's a not quite as long as the five and a half, but I left myself some room depending on how deep I cut for my banner. It's about three quarters of an inch from the edge. And then we want to lay in this polka dot banner over the hashtag banner with about three quarters to an inch to spare. So we've kind of centered our banners. I'm gonna flip the card and trim off the excess. And then we'll come in here with our sentiment panel and some dimensionals. Okay, sentiment panel is secure. And we've got some multi-purpose liquid glue and the little bee cut out and we're going to use our fingernail thumbnail to bend the wings on the bee so that he is in a flight position and then we'll adhere him to our little circle sentiment panel with a little multi-purpose liquid glue. Now we don't need the whole stem on these sprigs so snip it off and then get the multi-purpose liquid glue again and you're just going to put some on the little V there, not on the end leaves because it's gonna flow off of our circle sentiment panel. We'll put one so that it goes off of the top. A little more adhesive here and we'll put one so that it comes off the bottom kind of at an angle under the Y. 
Now, the multi-purpose liquid glue is going to would work fine for these flowers, but for the video, because I want to move right to putting the gems on and I don't really have a um, time to let the glue dry, we're going to go with glue dots. And we're going to start at the bottom with Melon Mambo, and then a Lemon Lime Twist, and the Berry Burst. Yes, these are the new in colors coming June 1st. Lemon Lime Twist and Berry Burst. Then we'll go Melon Mambo again. And last, a little Lemon Lime Twist Flower. Cute, huh? All right. Now I've got my sequin trim here. Take about an inch and fold it. And then I'm going to cut off shorter than. I've got my sequin trim here, and we're going to put a glue dot right on that one sequin where we had it folded. And we'll tuck that between the Lemon Lime Twist and the Melon Mambo Flower. Then with a the Cucumber Crush, we'll pull off about a 10 inch length and make a bow. I just loop over my index finger around my thumb, tuck it in and pull. So we've got our cutie little bow here. I want it to be a little more petite. If you hold the knot and pull the tails, it'll tighten up those loops. Okay, there it is. Another little glue dot. And adhere the bow right over the sequin trim. We're getting there, look how cute that is. Of course, it needs just a little bit more bling if you ask me. Okay, I've got my basic rhinestones and I'm going to take these biggest stones and just kind of push them. <laughs> I didn't mean to fling it. Push them off with the paper piercer and onto my project. Yes, there it is. We've got five of them. It's a very blingy card. Okay, there they are. These are April 2017 Paper Pumpkin Alternative Cards. If you've got any questions about Paper Pumpkin or Stampin' Up, if there's anything paper crafty I can do for you, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.